Don Lemon just auditioned for a spot on The View. He will replace one of the ladies. And Nikki Haley is in her prime. Sorry. When a woman is considered to be in her prime in her 20s and 30s and maybe 40s. What are you that's talking about? Wait. I, that's not according to me. Don, yes, said some things that um, were sexist and I think ageist. He apologized for them yeah. and received formal training. I know him too. We all know him here. Uh, Sarah stayed at his house He loves time. me. <laughs> <laughs> and he loves her. Word on the street is that the iconic Whoopi Goldberg might be passing her torch at The View. And guess who's supposedly stepping into her shoes? None other than the notorious Don Lemon. Can you believe it? The whispers suggest that Whoopi's reign might be coming to an end, and let's just say she's not exactly thrilled about it. So what exactly is going on? It seems like Don Lemon's career might be taking an unexpected turn, and let's just say some feathers might be getting ruffled in the process. So we all know Don Lemon from his no-holds-barred stint at CNN, where he's made quite the name for himself with his unfiltered takes and controversial statements. But lately, there's been some buzz that Don might just be eyeing a spot on none other than The View. Yeah, you heard that right. The daytime talk show with a history of heated debates and lively conversations. In fact, Don Lemon is making some sly moves to cozy up with the fabulous ladies of The View. Rumor has it that Lemon's been schmoozing with the hopes of landing a primo spot at that sizzling Hot Topics table. According to those in the know, Lemon recently played host at none other than Sonny Hostin's book release bash. And let me tell you, it was a sight to behold. Lemon wasn't just enjoying the hors d'oeuvres and sipping bubbly. Oh no, he was all up in the mix with the likes of Hostin and the ever sassy Joy Bahar. But that's not all. Lemon was apparently on a mission to show off his hosting prowess. He was practically flaunting his involvement in every little detail of the party. From the decorations to the cocktails, Lemon wanted the ladies to know he was the mastermind behind it all. Don's pushing himself with all of the women on the show, an insider spilled, claiming Lemon already pitched the idea to Whoopi Goldberg as well. Talk about making an impression. Now imagine Don Lemon rubbing elbows with the likes of Joy Bahar and the rest of the The View crew. Can you picture the fireworks? On one hand, his no-filter approach could inject some serious energy into the show's discussions. But let's be real here, it's a risky move. His knack for sparking heated clashes might just have the other co-hosts seeing red. But hold on to your hats because there's a twist in this tale. Whoopi Goldberg, the seasoned voice of reason on The View, might not be too thrilled about the idea of Lemon crashing the party. Why, you ask? Well, because Lemon's recent antics might not exactly be her cup of tea. You see, not too long ago, Don Lemon's voice resonated with a stark contrast to his present persona. A series of remarks he made during that time sparked controversy and left lasting impressions that continue to shape discussions around him. One instance was in 2013 during a CNN segment that addressed issues within the African-American community where Lemon's commentary unveiled a series of assertions that drew both shock and criticism. He dished out points that were supposed to tackle challenges faced by African-Americans, but let's just say his delivery left jaws dropping and tongues wagging. First up, Lemon took aim at the fashion police, urging folks to pull up your pants. Yep, you heard that right. He went on a rant about sagging pants, tying them to prison culture and submissive symbolism. Apparently, he thinks it's high time people ditch this style, which he claims has roots in avoiding belt weaponry behind bars. If you're sagging, it means I think it's your self-esteem is sagging and who you are as a person. It's sagging. Young people need to be taught respect and there are rules. Who knew fashion had such hidden meanings? Oh, but he didn't stop there. Lemon dove headfirst into the N-word debate, questioning its ongoing use and how it perpetuates harmful stereotypes. Talk about throwing shade. This had everyone chattering about reclaiming language versus avoiding a linguistic landmine. But wait, there's more. He launched into a tirade about parenting and family planning within the African-American community. Brace yourselves because he called out high rates of out-of-wedlock births and absent fathers, all in the name of breaking poverty cycles. Talk about airing some family laundry. What's more, Lemon's history with sexism is like a whole separate chapter. His past comments about women's appearances and behavior have raised eyebrows and concerns. It's got people questioning if he's truly up to date with the whole gender equality thing. In fact, the 56-year-old newscaster made headlines on February 16th after making a sexist comment about Nikki Haley's age. While discussing the 51-year-old former governor of South Carolina's bid for the presidency on CNN this morning, Lemon claimed that Haley is past her prime. 
She says people, politicians, are not in their prime, he said, referring to the former United Nations ambassador's idea to implement mental competency tests for political leaders over the age of 75. Nikki Haley isn't in her prime, sorry. When a woman is considered to be in her prime in her 20s and 30s and maybe 40s. What are you talking about? Wait. I, that's not according to me. At the time, his co-host Poppy Harlow asked her colleague to clarify his stance, questioning whether he meant Haley was beyond her prime for childbearing or prime for being president. Lemon proceeded to double down, responding, if you Google when is a woman in her prime, it'll say 20s, 30s, and 40s. I'm not saying I agree with that, so I think she has to be careful about saying that politicians aren't in their prime. The comment quickly sparked controversy among viewers and political pundits, and Haley herself was quick to fire back at Lemon's remark. To be clear, I'm not calling for competency tests for sexist middle-aged CNN anchors, only for people who make our laws and are 75 plus, she quipped via Twitter on February 16th. Amid the backlash, Lemon quickly apologized, saying, I'm sorry that I said it, and I certainly see why people found it completely misguided. When I make a mistake, I own it, Lemon added, and I own this one as well. Aside from this, in December last year, Lemon is said to have screamed at his co-anchor, Caitlin Collins, after an on-air segment, sources told The Post at the time. When the camera stopped rolling after the December 8th show, he allegedly approached Collins and unleashed on her in front of staffers for supposedly interrupting him on air. Don screamed at Caitlin, who was visibly upset and ran out of the studio, one source said. In the aftermath, a source said, at this point, Caitlin wants to be on set with Don as little as possible. It's messy. And wouldn't you know, just weeks before his alleged screaming match, Lemon clashed with his two female co-hosts over on-air remarks he made about women's soccer. Lemon got into an awkward dispute with both Collins and Harlow after he suggested the U.S. men's soccer team should get paid more than the women's side. The men's team makes more money. If they make more money, then they should get more money, Lemon said. The men's team makes more money because people are more interested in the men. You see, these instances have further fueled debates about his suitability for a show like The View, which emphasizes diverse perspectives and respectful discourse. And let's face it, Whoopi's got her own style. She's all about that candid, no-nonsense approach, but Lemon's recent antics might just be a little too spicy for her taste. His penchant for stirring the pot might have her raising a skeptical eyebrow or two. I mean, think about it. Whoopi's got a reputation to uphold, and she's been steering the view ship through its fair share of storms. Lemon's recent controversies, the kind that have made him both a talking point and a lightning rod, might not exactly align with Whoopi's vision for the show. So, while Lemon's making his moves and trying to charm his way into the View crew, there's a chance that Whoopi's not exactly rolling out the welcome mat with open arms. But here's the intriguing twist. The power dynamics might not be in Whoopi's court after all. You know how gossip has a way of spreading like wildfire, right? Well, there's been some chatter in the grapevine suggesting that Whoopi might be facing the possibility of being axed from The View. Why, you ask? Well, just like Lemon, Whoopi has been spewing some unkind and controversial comments as well. In a recent incident, Whoopi didn't hold back when criticizing Jason Aldean's latest music video on The View. She questioned the use of imagery from the Black Lives Matter movement, suggesting that the inclusion of these elements might raise concerns about the video's message. She also pointed out that the artistic choices made by Jason and the writers were questionable. Just like you talk about people taking care of each other in small towns, we do the same thing in big town. Jason Aldean, however, didn't let Whoopi's allegations go unanswered. He addressed the controversy during one of his concerts, emphasizing the true meaning behind the song and its themes of unity and community. He expressed disappointment with the double standards in the music industry and refuted claims that the song was promoting violence or racism. The aftermath of Whoopi's comments has ignited a whirlwind of reactions from fans of the show. It's not the first time she's stirred controversy recently. Her candid remarks have caused a stir among viewers and damaged the reputation of The View. Meanwhile, in another eyebrow-raising incident, Whoopi had a major blow-up during a discussion about couples' intimate experiences on vacation. The conversation took a wild turn when Whoopi began sharing explicit details, leaving everyone shocked. Joy Behar joined in, seeking even juicier details, and Whoopi unabashedly dove into the explicit content. When the show's producer tried to intervene, Whoopi made a fiery response that left even the producer embarrassed. In any case, whispers in the air say that the directors of The View are practically in a tizzy. They're worried that if they don't show Whoopi the door, this showbiz ship might just sink right into oblivion. 
So will Lemon replace Whoopi? Only time will tell. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye.